Hello guys, this is Hello guys, this is Satam Sina and in this video we are going to learn that how we can deploy a React app on some kind of uh, server. In this in this case I am using Heroku server. Okay. So so before starting this video, let me tell you one thing that it is ridiculously simple to uh, deploy your Heroku app or uh, sorry, deploy your React app on a Heroku server. Heroku server. Uh, it is more simpler than Express. Okay. So let's get started. So first let me quickly create our react app. So for that first let me just copy this one and px create demo app this one. This one is just and then hit enter. It will take time. So let me come back after some time so finally friends our react app is created and you can just simply go into the react or react app by um, cd my my space uh, what's the name of that file my dash app sorry my dash app now we can simply start npm start that app. Let's go into the folder of our my app, whatever it is. Uh, my there it is my app. Let's open it using my favorite editor which is code visual studio code my favorite one okay after that uh, we have to let me create my environment variable here environment file here uh, new uh, so that I can show you that how we can uh, add environmental variables on our server that's why I am created uh, creating that so we have to simply name it as dot env for dot env now it's ready our application is launched the launching but let's go to our visual studio it is starting here now we can see our app is launched uh, like this uh, which has is initial UI which is provided by which is provided by the react so now here in the dot in the file um, I'm going to create some of the environmental variables. So this is just because I want to show you that how you can uh, add environmental variables on the Heroku server. That's why nothing big, nothing, nothing big deal. But this is just to show you. Okay. So here, as we know, we have to add a prefix after every environmental variables. React underscore app underscore. Let's say API. Let's say we are using some kind of API into uh, in our react app okay so you can name it anything I am naming it at www dot google dot com let's say just a demo one okay save that now our react app is ready and it is launched okay okay now we are going to deploy this uh, React app on our Heroku server. So the first thing which we are going to do is uh, installing Heroku CLI and Git Bash. Uh, that is the must. That is must for uh, deploying your Heroku app. So first, go ahead and download Heroku CLI. Uh, the download is pretty simple. You can just go on Google and just type here Heroku CLI. Hit enter and here it is Heroku CLI
basically Heroku CLI is for uh, interacting with your Heroku account uh, via command prompt okay that's why we use Heroku CLI okay so here uh, we are, if you are a Mac user then you can download it from here and if you are a Windows user then you can download it from here and if you are on, if you are on Ubuntu or any other flavor then you can simply go ahead and use this one so I am currently on Windows so I have downloaded 64 bit installer you can download according to your choice okay so after downloading that next thing which you are going to download is installation is quite simple just next 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 okay done and that's it you have to do next we are going to install uh, git bash uh, in our system that is also quite simple uh, here you have to go for the site of git for windows.org I am going to give all these links in the description if you are uh, watching this video on the Instagram there you can find this link all these links in the description and then in the YouTube also uh, okay so here uh, just click on this download and it will download that for you whole git okay after you are, after you are done with uh, downloading git and Heroku CLI now you can go now you are good to go uh, the one thing which you are going to do is uh, you have to create uh, Heroku account on this uh, Heroku website okay uh, so go ahead and create that also and remember the credentials because that credentials we are going to use uh, while deploying our Heroku applications okay uh, so let's go ahead and go to a command prompt uh, let's say go to into this folder here our app is there then here our app is here in this folder so we have to go here and in the command prompt in this folder okay after that let me uh, first initialize our git repository um, so now it is giving it me like that so first we have to initialize one git repository let me delete that one otherwise it can create problem no let's let's do it right here like uh, yeah here first we have to initialize our git repository git init uh, now our git in is uh, git uh, repository initialized and then we are going to add all the files to our repo git add dot this is a simple command which we are going to use and all the files added then we are simply going to commit that commit dash m uh, new app created and then hit enter now we can check the status that if the tree is clean or not get status okay we can we are saying that uh, um, working tree is clean now means all the things are committed to the git okay next after committing all the things to get, then we are going to log in to our Heroku account using simple command like Heroku login dash i. Don't forget to add this flag which is dash i because it will help you to log in uh, to a Heroku account via command line. Okay, so use this flag uh, dash i. Okay, next. Here it is asking you to enter your login login credentials. My email is correct. And next, we are going to enter our password. After that, I am logged in as Satyam Sinha eight and five eight at gmail dot com. After that, after that, we can simply. Um, let me introduce you one of the resource for the build pack of uh, react so this is this one uh, mars slash um, create react app build pack this one is the best resource for deploying your react app on pdq server uh, this makes our work a lot more easier okay so this one is uh, npx create react app uh, this and the name of that app or then we have to create one Heroku create app name and this one. We have to just copy paste this one. 
uh, on our Heroku one. Okay, I'm going to give that link on the in the description, so don't worry for that. So here, Heroku, Heroku create name of our app which we are going to create, and then that's just Spirit Pack Moss slash Create React App. Uh, so in the app name, I'm going to just name it as Demo Demo Deployment Demo Deployment because I'm going to delete that after making this video. So demo deployment and test as we have build pack mass slash create as create react app. After that you can hit enter. This is going to take some take some time, but based on the size of your uh, product. Okay, size of your application. Okay, uh, it is created quite. And then get push. No, that will not take time. This one is will take time. Okay, uh, get push. Heroku, I forgot it. Uh, git push Heroku uh, master, and then this will go into push all of your uh, files and other things like that into the Heroku server. Then just hit enter. This is going to take some time based on the size of your uh, application. But as I have created my application just now, it is light, so it will. It is not going to take much time. Here it is saying that React.js multi app is detected. You can see here. Uh, I am pausing this video after some time. After that, your deployment is done. Now you can simply check that using Heroku. What's that? Simply. Heroku open then hit enter here now you can see here our website is deployed to some sort of website now next thing which I'm going to tell you that how you can add your environmental variables though or not though our application is not using environmental variables so it is not passing but in case if your uh, home section is using some kind of environmental variable and you haven't deployed that then it, it can crash your application. So for that first we have to add environmental variables. Okay, refresh that page. Here one. Uh, demo deployment here we have to click that in the settings. Scroll a little bit here. It will config variables. Uh, just click that. Now here we are going to add our environmental variables. So for that, first let me go into our application. Uh, here is our environmental variables, right? But let me go this. This is one of our environmental variables. So just copy this one. This is your key. Okay, just copy that. and paste it in the over here okay and then we are going to add our value to that one this one copy that we are going to paste in the value section here you can add as many uh, environmental variables into this one like that just like that um, click on add it is going to add your environmental variables. Okay, you can add as many as you want your environmental variables. There is no restriction. Okay. Here, uh, as I showed you that uh, uh, we are going to add the build pack to our application. You can see here that here our build pack is created here, right here. You can see here HTTP slash build pack slash registry slash Amazon AWS like that. You can see here our build pack is added right here. So now you can now you got it that why I used that build pack. Okay. Our React app is deployed to this one. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. So if you like this video do hit a like and share it with your friends. And do follow me in the uh, Instagram if you are watching this on Instagram. If you're watching this in YouTube channel, do hit a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. So thanks for watching this video.